I forget that I have Bell's Palsy, but I'm reminded every evening and every morning that I'm putting this vlog together uh, just because I'm seeing myself. Here we go again. Let's play. I gotta get ready for work. Shovel man. <laughs> Love you. All these people, none of them have to work today. It is the 4th of July and I'm heading to work. This will be the first time that I ever had to work on the 4th of July. Today really doesn't feel like the 4th of July. It just seems like this year is really flying by. There is nobody here. I'm not really surprised. It's 4th of July. Speaking of 4th of July and, and this vlog, you know, not everything is... is um, sunshine and rainbows you know there, there's there's some seriousness to things and serious to life um, and I've kind of kept it from the vlog trying to figure out a way to to say it or, or to, to if I should even bring it up you know because it is it, it is close to home um, but who knows you know someone out there could probably benefit from it thinking a lot about my uh, my buddy uh, Jason so a little bit about Jason. He's an army vet, um, and and he used to tell me just some amazing stories. We grew close. We, we had a lot of different conversations. You know, would always kid and laugh and everything together. Jason was also battling PTSD real bad. Unfortunately, Jason lost his battle with PTSD uh, about two weeks ago, and you know, it, it's sad to think that someone that that, that you know is going through this and there's nothing that, that, that you can I mean what do you do to help and, and you know he showed signs to me several times but I, I never did I never did do anything about it mainly because I didn't know what to do and maybe someone out there watching this can can comment or something or, or message you know because if I ever come across the situation again I still don't know what to do you, you hear it on the news, you, you, you hear it everywhere about this PTSD and 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 how many people lose the battle daily, but it really doesn't affect you until it hits home with someone close to you or someone you know. You know, this Fourth of July, I, I, I'm really thinking of, of you, Jason. Um, yeah. So now I got to go into work. There's really nobody here. This is insane. <laughs> I forgot my badge. What's up guys? Gals, what's going on? How are you two? How are you? Doing great. Alright. With today being July 4th, not really sure what all we have going on. Just a lot of small edits to, to wrap up that you know, I'm kind of falling behind on since I've been out shooting. Wild from Rochester. <laughs> like this has been cleaned quite extensively. Three dudes eat hot dogs and talk about the 4th of July. So I feel really bad. I did not really capture a lot for the vlog. I've been extremely busy with a lot of edits and <laughs> sitting down at my desk there's nothing really exciting about that so I don't know I forget that I had Bell's palsy but I'm reminded every evening and every morning that I'm putting this vlog together just because I'm seeing myself and and whenever I look at myself in the mirror but usually I look fine 
just like that. You can't tell that I had Bell's palsy until I start talking, smiling, whatever it may be. But, you know, also the last couple of days I've taken some photos and, and I did a Facebook Live for our uh, for our show. And I went back and looked at the Facebook Live just like I did the photo a couple of days ago. And I'm just, I'm embarrassed by it. And I'm starting to get used to it, um, which I'm, I'm kind of worried and scared about. Um, I know it doesn't matter what other people think or anything like that, but... You know, I just, I don't know. It, it's tough. It is, this is week eight with Bell's Posse. As you can tell, not too much improvement. 